here I am fitting this curved shelf unit and uh, I'm doing what you often have to do as a joiner, making something stick to the wall just by pressing it there because I've had to line it up. I've I found my centre line of the wall, I've marked that vertical and now I've placed my bottom of this piece in line with where I know it needs to end up from the drawing and I've, I've offered it up so that I can mark off for where the screw needs to be for that fixing. Um, it's also helped me to see that the wall is less than perfectly less than perfectly flat but not as bad as it might have been so that might just be a case of letting this screw for example stick a little further out in order to engage with the bracket so I've drilled the first the upper middle fixing and put a screw in it um, and by the way for those keyhole fixings you need to ideally be using screws that have a bit of a domed head. So these ones, see how that just curves at the front there? That's made especially for that fixing and it allows you to locate and slide onto it a little bit easier. What I've realized now though is that that head won't quite pass through the hole and the hole is, the hole is six millimeters diameter in order to help me precisely locate my six millimeter drill for the red plugs. Um, so what I need to do really is, is hold the jig up and then put the screw through it into the plug rather than putting the screw in the plug first. But uh, I've not been able to do that single-handed and I'm finding there's too much material at the top of the jig to be able to sort of, even if I could do it, to sort of get down and um, figure out where everything's lining up. So what I'm going to do is simply cut as much as I can off the jig so I'm really only left with the part of the jig that has the holes on it. So I've done that, I've cut it off and it just made it easier to hold it and position it onto the hole and screw through. Now, you may be thinking that I could have just drilled that hole bigger to fit over the head of the screw. I didn't want to do that because all of these holes really want to be centered on the drill hole. So if I make that one too much bigger, it's going to drop, uh, it's going to drop down and uh, everything else is going to be not quite centered. So now that's pretty much in the right place. I can position that on my vertical line, drill and fix that one, and then drill all of these, knowing that they should line up with the final positions of the crisscrossing shelf parts. Now I'm thinking about this some more, because that, that centre line has effectively dropped, so the, the screw is into the centre, the jig has dropped a bit below, so the screw shank is just sat sort of at the at the top of the hole so holding the jig that way what I've decided to do is then mark with it with it leveled at the bottom mark towards the top of each hole onto the wall with a pencil and then I'll take the jig off and I'll use those as my drill points if I did this again I've realized now that what I'd want to do is drill that first hole for hanging the jig just to the diameter of the shank of the screw so that that is is centered on the screw and then I would have all of these at the six millimeters so that my drill would pass through that because it's a six millimeter drill so then that could pass through and that also would be perfectly centered where it should be. So you live and learn there's always ways to improve these sorts of things. So I've hooked on my central vertical support and it's showing that I need to tighten the screws quite a lot because that wants to be fairly tight. So I think once I take that, take that off and on until I'm getting a tight fit, I can use that as a pretty good guide to how far to let all the other screws stick out. And I need to keep in mind that there's a bit of a kickback of the wall up here so that and these other two at the top will need to stick out more than the rest. That's now gone on nice and tight. There are gaps, but it's touching tight in places. And it was it had a nice snug fit as I pushed it down into the keyhole plates. And I'll put all my verticals on now and then see how the horizontals fit.
verticals went on with probably slightly fewer problems than I was expecting. I've now started sliding the main horizontal one in and if you're ever doing something like this something to be aware of is it's, it's quite easy to knock the corners as as you're pushing this in because it doesn't it doesn't line up straight away across everything so you have to sort of work it in until it's lining up on each one. Um, it's pretty much there and now I'm finding I can see so just slot it in like that. So it's a good result. Mm -hmm.